Hello welcome to my channel in this video today I'm going to tell you how they made Cadbury dairy milk in factories. Do you know the origin of chocolate? Chocolates are not only good in taste but a box of chocolates reduces mental tension and there are many more benefits. Cadbury chocolate originated from Birmingham, England. In 1824 John Cadbury opened his shop where he was selling tea coffee and his chocolate drink. After few time he came to know people love their chocolate drink the most. In 1832 he started to sell just chocolate drink in his shop, and in 15 years he was become famous. In 1847, John Cadbury, along with his brother, built a large factory. After looking at his test and standard, he got award from the Queen in 1854. Now let's move how they made it. Cadbury dairy milk chocolate is made through a series of processes in factories. The chocolate making process begins with sourcing high quality cocoa beans from various regions around the world. The beans are harvested from cocoa trees, typically found in tropical regions. The harvested cocoa beans are removed from the pods and placed in large containers or boxes to undergo fermentation. After fermentation, the beans are spread out to dry either in the sun or using specialized drying equipment. This step helps reduce moisture content and prepares the beans for further processing. One cocoa tree can produce 2,500 cocoa beans in a year. And 400 seeds or bean can make one pound chocolate. We can say one cocoa tree can make seven pound or three kilograms chocolate in a year. Once the beans are dried, they are roasted to bring out the chocolate flavor. Roasting also helps remove any remaining moisture and sterilizes the beans. The duration and temperature of the roasting process may vary depending on the desired flavor profile. Once the beans are dried, they are roasted to bring out the chocolate flavor. Roasting also helps remove any remaining moisture and sterilizes the beans. The duration and temperature of the roasting process may vary depending on the desired flavor profile. The West African countries produces 70% of the world's cocoa beans. In the factory they put them in a roasted machine for 50 minutes to give them a flavor and it can remove moisture and outer shell of seeds. After that they are passed through an extractor and that can help to separate outer shells with a vibrated machines. Now it's a grinding process the roasted cocoa beans are then ground into a thick paste called cocoa mass or chocolate liquor. The liquor consists of cocoa solids and cocoa butter, which are both naturally present in the beans. The chocolate liquor is transferred to a conching machine, which combines heat and mechanical agitation to refine the texture and flavor of the chocolat. At this stage, other ingredients such as sugar, milk powder, and additional cocoa butter are added to the conch chocolate. The mixture is further refined through a series of grinding processes to achieve a smooth texture. The chocolate liquor is transferred to a conching machine, which combines heat and mechanical agitation to refine the texture and flavor of the chocolate. This process involves continuously stirring the chocolate for several hours or even days, allowing it to develop a smooth consistency and remove any unwanted flavors. At this stage, other ingredients such as sugar, milk powder, and additional cocoa butter are added to the conch chocolate. The mixture is further refined through a series of grinding processes to achieve a smooth texture. The chocolate is then tempered to give it a glossy appearance and a crisp texture. Tempering involves controlled heating and cooling of the chocolate to encourage the formation of stable cocoa butter crystals. The next process is molding once tempered. The chocolate is poured into molds to create the desired shape, such as the classic Cadbury dairy milk bars. The molds are vibrated to remove any air bubbles and ensure even distribution of the chocolate. The filled molds are cooled to solidify the chocolate, typically in a refrigerated environment. Afterward, the chocolate bars are removed from the molds, inspected for quality, and packaged into individual wrappers or larger packages for distribution and sale. Cadbury, in particular, may have proprietary methods and ingredients that contribute to the unique taste of the dairy milk chocolate. 